There is real hope that what is happening in this lab just might lead to a cure for HIV. That we have found an innovative way uh, to kill the virus uh, by finding this small region of HIV that is unchangeable. Dr. Sudhir Paul and Miguel Escobar are not just talking about suppressing HIV. They're talking about destroying it permanently by arming the immune system with a new weapon that their lab tests show works. I'm on uh, four different medications, and uh, three of them are brand new. And it's the first time I've ever been non-detectable. Ford Stewart has been HIV positive for 15 years. A powerful drug cocktail keeps the disease in check. I'm down to about, uh, just for the HIV, just about nine pills a day, five in the morning and four at night. But he knows that HIV mutates, and eventually it will learn how to outsmart his medications. The virus is truly complex and has many tricks up its sleeve. But at the University of Texas Medical School at Houston, Dr. Paul thinks he has cracked a code. We've discovered the weak spot of HIV. They've zeroed in on a section of one key protein in HIV's structure that does not mutate. The virus needs at least one constant region, and that is the essence of calling it the Achilles heel. And the Achilles heel is their way in. The doctors discovered a way to take advantage of it with something called an abzon. With our targeting molecules. Those are naturally yeah. produced by people like lupus patients. When they applied that abzine to the HIV virus, it permanently disarmed it. What we already have in our hand are the abzymes that we could be infusing into human subjects with HIV infection essentially to remove the virus. This could be used to control the, the disease and maybe they don't need any more the uh, antiretroviral medicines. That's worth saying again. This could be used to control the disease in people who already have it or prevent it for people who are at high risk. It's held up in lab tests, it's held up in animal tests, and human trials are next. Meanwhile, in Houston, three people every day are diagnosed with HIV. Clinical trials are, are very expensive. They still need funding to launch human trials. And in the world of HIV research, that is often where things fall apart. This is the worry of any researcher. These are what uh, nightmares are made of after 30 years of work, if you find it doesn't work. But so far, it's working. This is the... The, the holy grail of HIV research to develop a preventative vaccine. If we can get the viral loads down uh, to manageable levels, that already will, uh, will uh, preclude the need for these conventional drugs. But even if everything goes well, it's at least five years before this research could help people with HIV. The doctors know that folks like Ford Stewart are waiting. There's so many people that are, that are struggling with the disease because it affects not only your body, but also your psyche and how you perceive yourself. We must get on with the job. It's promising research for the tens of millions waiting for a cure. Lee McGuire for CBS News.